Yo, 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 what is up guys? And Paps here back with another recorded video. It seems like I've only been posting recorded videos recently. I kind of like it. It's nice to have some content outside of Twitch, I suppose. And um, speaking of that, if you would like to follow me on Twitch, link in the description, I go live like every single day. Um, and yeah, enough of that. So as you can see from the title, um, I'm going to be doing an air roll left update. Um, I have been um, using it for six days now. This is my sixth day. Um, and by no means am I a master at it yet. But I figured, you know what? A lot of you guys or some of you guys might be curious about uh, maybe an update to see how it's going, to see if it's worth it. So I'm just going to do this rings map using air roll left only pretty much. And um, I'll show you guys the progress I've made with arrow left. Um, and I'll just talk about what I think is good about it so far and what I think is bad about it. So off the bat, you can probably already see based on um, from that first video I posted, my control has gotten quite a bit better, um, which feels nice. And I'm not going to lie, air roll left is just kind of like fancier. But besides looking fancy, that's not like the only uh, good thing. Uh, so let's talk about some of the pros of using air roll left and or air roll right, you know, same thing. So in my opinion, I don't know if any of these are facts. This is just how I feel. So you might have a different experience. Um, I think when it comes to stuff like air dribbles and, um, oh, oh, I lost control. Um, when it comes to stuff like air dribbles and double taps, um, and just getting like nice, powerful touches on the ball, I think using a directional air roll is preferred and probably better. Um, especially when you are going for a double tap, if you tornado spin into the ball, uh, your car has very, very minimal recoil and you're able to adjust yourself pretty fast. Uh, so I would say that's a huge plus. And when you're air dribbling, um, if you get it right with air roll left and you're tornado spinning, bro, the ball is like glued to your car. I posted a clip on Instagram of me, like my second day trying it. And it's insane how much control you can have if you do it correctly. Um, and if you're wondering, how I have trained so much and yeah, what I did to improve. Um, I've just been doing a bunch of this map. I've been doing left of your rings. I've been doing a bunch of custom training. I've been doing um, a lot of free play and just maneuvering around the map and stuff. Rip. But as you can see, I still have plenty of blackout moments where I lose control of my car. And that's not a bad thing. You know, it's, it's how I learn. But for sure, I feel so much better. Um, and yeah, so those are the pros, I would say. I mean, I would suggest to have air roll and air roll left bound still. I wouldn't say only use one or only use the other. I don't know how I lost right there. Um, but yeah, like, it's just nice to have an extra tool, you know? I would say that not having it is also okay. There's plenty of people that don't have it. But I just feel like if you don't have it, you're kind of purposefully uh, limiting yourself, you know? It's just always nice to have something else up your sleeve in case you need it. And the more you use it, the more comfortable you get with it. I'm not expecting to be truly good with air roll left for at least a month or something, but... Um, for sure, I've gotten a lot more used to it. But yeah, those are the pros. Um, I wouldn't really say there's any cons. As long as you're using air roll and air roll left, there's really not any cons. Um, the hardest part about it is just getting comfortable with it, really. Aw, uh, I boosted too early. But yeah, like I said, um, as, you can, as you can see, I, by no means am I a master, but... If you go back and compare the first or second day to now, I am a lot more comfortable. Um, maybe I'll even go into free play and show you guys some double taps. 
I, I promise you I am not good at them. But um, I can show you guys exactly what I mean when I do get a um, when I get a good one. I'll show you why I think a roll left is better. Um, so if you want to watch me do the rest of this, which will probably take me another couple minutes, feel free. Otherwise, skip ahead and I'll do some Devo double taps. But this will only take me another minute or two, probably. It's pretty short. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, really. I'm just chilling. Hopefully you guys enjoy these uploads I've been posting. Uh, I would love for you guys to drop a like and maybe a comment and tell me what's up. I love responding to you guys. I love the engagement. Um, I appreciate all the support recently. My YouTube has been growing, which hasn't happened for a long time for me. Uh, considering I main Twitch nowadays. So thank you for having that happen again. Uh, you guys are dope. My Instagram has been growing too, which I've been posting on that if you guys want to follow that um and twitter's twitter it's whatever if you want to follow that as well oh rip i stink i think the hardest part about um or one of the hardest things about learning air roll left for me was since i'm so used to having my air roll bound and that being only, like the only thing i use it was really hard to like form a connection between like my brain and my fingers to like use boost properly when I'm using air roll left because I've never like aerialed with another bind, you know? And that took me a, uh, it took me at least a couple days and I'm still not even that good at it because I'll forget to boost and press the wrong button and stuff. But make sure you're also practicing regular air roll because you don't want to like forget how to air roll, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go up it for the ball and flop like a fish. Okay. Bang. Okay. So let's go over some double taps and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Um about getting a nice tornado spin touch. And honestly, the way I've been doing these is I've been using regular air roll to kind of get to the ball as fast as I can. And then I'll use air roll left to spin into the ball. Um like that touch right there. That touch is so much better, I feel like, with air roll left because, again, your car just has, like, zero recoil. I'm not really too great at adjusting my car for the backboard yet. But you get that zero recoil, and you can just, I don't know, follow the ball so much cleaner. I mean, I'm not saying you can't get good touches with air roll, but I just feel like a directional air roll just gets you such cleaner touches. Like, I don't know, man. It could be in my head. It could be placebo. But again, look at that touch right there. Look at that touch and look at that follow. Like, I just feel like that's just... Mwah! It's just so clean. Boom, my car is no recoil. I just followed the ball. Bang! Ah, dude, ah, ah, I love it. Anyways, I love you guys. Again, don't forget to like if you enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in my next video. I'll do another update at some point. Who knows? But until then, I love you guys. Peace.